Okay, so I'm still talking about the first sundering of the elves. So, as I mentioned last time, there were three groups um, that were, uh, what, the Vanyar, the Noldar, and the um, Tellery um, that split up and were all going in groups following Orme to go back west to Amon and join the Valinor. Um, but not everybody made it, as I mentioned. Uh, the elves, they were very curious and, and just in wonderment of all the things that they saw as they walked and they wanted to stay in certain places, but most of them kept going. Um, but the ones in the back in the Tellery, there was one, it was the, which was the host of Olwe. Um, his name was Lenwe. Um, and they forsook the march and they followed down the river towards the shore. Um, and they never went to... Um, you know, they never went to um, the uh, to Amon to the west, um, and those elves, it is said, had the greatest knowledge of living things, of birds and beasts and herbs and um, you know trees uh, and all that. Um, and uh, Denethor, who is going to come into the story later as well, was the son of um, the son of Linway. Yeah, I'm looking at. I'm yes, I'm cheating. I'm looking at my book right here. I'm just. I want to make sure I say the right stuff. So. Um, so anyway, just more about the, um, the sundering of the elves. I'm just going to basically read a couple pages and, and every day do one of these um, messages and probably read the whole book before any chance of Stephen Colbert commenting or getting back to me. But Stephen Colbert, I would like to have a talk online, Zoom, Skype, whatever, uh, about Silmarillion and Tolkien and Middle-earth. So hit me up.